Okay. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. My name is Vagram, so you have not been watching my tutorial videos. I kind of expect that the folks watching my tutorials and mod guides have been the ones that would probably find this. But uh, if you're not, well, then welcome to the channel. Um, this is a kind of a new experiment for me. My last several videos have all been... Oh, God, I better go find some wood. Um, my last several videos have all been... Um, guide and tutorial based really when it comes down to it uh so the concept of going through a let's play is kind of new but i do think it's a useful idea because i think it might help some others see maybe a slightly different play style <laughs> Here we are, finally home sweet home. Been away for a while, and I definitely didn't mean to stay away, stay gone this long. But I'm very excited about being back in Vagram's Chance. <laughs> started off, spawned right about here, and after <clears throat> doing some pre-gen on the world, I got started. Knocked down a couple of acacia trees and immediately made a stilt, basically. One leg for a platform with a ladder going up it, and had a little bit of a wall around it so skeletons couldn't shoot me. I put a, t I put a bed on it and called it a home. And we've now grown to all of that. I wandered my way this way, first few episodes. And it took me two or three episodes just to build the house. Get enough wood. Get enough uh, supplies going. I built the garden before I built the second floor. And uh, <laughs> this garden has long since been used. Uh, I don't pick it anymore. It doesn't really do anything. It's just decorative. I need to move it up there somewhere. And really just kind of... I don't know. Maybe leave it here, but make a new garden up there somewhere. I think that might be good. I still have a space in my actual town center around the fountain, the town square. And I, I, I talked about making a multi-story building that had a garden on the roof. Maybe I should still do that. Um, but this garden was my sole... It was coffee, tea, uh, mixed berries, basically. 
and uh, the nether wart came after I made my first trip to the nether. I've got potatoes and carrots, wheat, sugarcane, everything I needed. Right back here was the original location for the actual animal pens, and I would use uh, one of these uh, ender lassos from Ender Utilities to actually warp stuff in. My original mob grinder was right there, and I had a chest from Better Storage, or Better Chests, yeah, better chests that actually had an upgrade for mob grinding. It would kill mobs and store it. And that worked really well. Eventually, though, I moved it over here for a little bit more space and breathing room. And I meant to fill that in. It's funny. That is still... That's from, like, less than episode 10. And I never came back to fill that up. It's kind of humorous. Uh, this was my mine for a long time down here. Until I got a, um, a staff from the Minions mod. That let me create a new mine. This became my primary mine shaft. <laughs> With strip mining operations galore going all the way back through the, through the underground here. All of this area is long since mined out and depleted of its resources. For the most part. There might be a nugget or two of something important to here and there, but it's pretty much all gone after 100 episodes. Yes. We've come a long way now. We have this bank of Essentia that I can use for Thaumcraft if I so need. I can't remember. He is full, yeah. And that spawner, those spawners are going. I have, ooh, unknown dimlets. Yes. And so many Enderman trophies and Blaze trophies. Not even funny. I think those are spawning. We'll see. I'll leave that off for now. Um, anyway, I made the stairs originally because I knew I wanted to do a floating city. Volantara, the city misplaced or displaced. Uh, binding and unbinding rituals, I think. Uh, anyway, we've expanded now different trees from different worlds. We've got our player relocator. This is our ultimate get home device, which I still use cross dimensionally, no matter where I am. That little thing is my ultimate escape. Um, Twilight Forest portal, deep dark portal, and the Erebus portal. We haven't really done much to Erebus uh, since that initial trip, and then one trip back to go kill a queen bug, queen spider, but that's because er Erebus has some issues. It has some bugs, pun intended, and uh, it hasn't been updated in a long time, which is the state of a lot of mods in this pack, unfortunately. With every single version update, it gets harder and harder to get a stable release because some mods just aren't getting updated anymore. Easy crafting is starting to have recipe conflicts uh, or conflicts searching for recipes and some mods that are getting updated. Uh, Erebus has issues with the crafting system and with various other parts of it. Um, so yeah, a lot of little holes here and there. Oh gosh, crafting pillars I thought had been abandoned, but it turns out it hasn't. Uh, better chest has moved on to 1.8, which means there's no more new updates coming out for this, I don't think, for 1.7. So we're kind of feature complete on that, and if it, there's a bug in this version, we're stuck. Uh, it's the same thing for random things now. We have problems in random things that we're finding on the test server. But Lumion, the author, has moved on to 1.8. And that's their prerogative. That just means we're stuck with some bugs in the 1.7 edition. Um, but we have... Uh, we made our workshop. Very quickly outgrew it and needed an expansion. Outgrew that and needed an expansion. Now we've had to move all of the ore processing back here to the new processing center and the processing center is running like a champ zinc goes I think here zinc ore yeah you Oh, you're not supposed to go through there. You should be skipping that directly. Whatever. 
So, uh, I also, some people made some comments that I would like to show appreciation for in uh, a couple episodes back in regards to my gas processing, like oxygen and then hydrogen upstairs. This tank is now set to dumping excess, which means when it builds up and maxes out, the system will still keep running and still running, keep running through. This is basically the equivalent of a uh, putting a void barrel upgrade on a Java barrel. And it's a good idea. That means that it is still manufacturing and it will keep topped out. So that hydrogen, because if this maxes out on oxygen, those stop, which means we could run out of hydrogen and have tons of oxygen. Technically, it's not going to happen because anything that goes through the hydrogen needing part will go through the oxygen needing part right afterwards, but it's a good safety measure. I've also set whoops, a tank up here. This is set to dumping excess. It is filling up slowly again. Um, our brine processing is staying very well topped off, so whatever is happening over at the salination plant is definitely keeping us very, very full on the brine. So the new tech center I and mean, the new uh, processing center and the tech center right nearby. Of course, of all these buildings that are kind of made to look similar, the power station is the oldest. And this upgrade, oh, I think we're going to be able to see it kick off here in just a minute. But this upgrade that was made by, uh, programmed by Bexitos. Yeah, there we go. Still runs like a champ, still runs like clockwork. The reactor needs to be expanded. Need to think bigger and better. I'm going to make a bigger power uh, power solution, but I think I'm I'm going to move it off into another dimension. Let's see. I wish I had a chest. Let me think. I'm going to do item conduit. Gonna get one. Diamond chest. Get one of those. Pull a diamond chest out of thin air. Now if I put those in there and then go like this. What's it going to pull out? Anything? Is that eyesighted aware? Oh, that's the wrong end. That's supposed to be insert. Yes! That works. Okay. We now have a processing system. So I'm going to do now. I'm just going to grab. This is going to be ugly, but you know, oh God, it's going to work. Hopefully that's going to have enough storage. We'll see. So, uh, yeah, I want to make a void dimension. And I want to move all the power there. I really would like the idea of making a massive, super massive reactor that's actually used for uh, steam and then actually make turbines for reactors. I think that could be cool. We'll see how, that, how well that works, though. But that still means making a stable and usable void dimension. We've got... Our other little secrets hidden just beneath the marketplace. Right here. Oh, yeah. I cannot do it with step assist on. There we go. Really weird bug that needs to be addressed in step assist. Anyway, we've got Joe the Mage selling wands here and magical supplies. We've got the Creeper King, Corianche, selling creeper parts and, well... Dynamite. Uh, and the guards are still standing watch. So, yeah. We have expanded vastly from our original designs and intent. Well, actually, all of this was intended. But we've expanded vastly from our original designs, even. And uh, from our original aspirations, I think. I had a lot of ideas, but... 
where it has come to now, even I don't think I foresaw this. Oh, three more of those. I'm getting a lot of these dimlets. I should have checked the mob farm probably a while back. Has it researched all of those? Oh my gosh. So now I have that. I have this. Uh, I need to get all, all of these. Let's just get all of these and start shuffling them over. Anyway, I really do appreciate the attention that you guys have paid to each and every episode. I get great feedback. I get really wonderful interaction with you, my viewers. And I couldn't do a lot of this without you. Without you coming by every day, every couple of days, and checking in on my shenanigans, checking in to see what I'm doing and what I'm up to. There's a lot of this that just wouldn't be possible for me. I wouldn't have made it. I don't think I'm going to have space for this. Oh, my gosh. Uh, to episode 100. Probably would have given up a while ago. But... Let's see how far we get. I think there's more than a diamond chest worth of actual possible dimlets. I think there's probably a couple of diamond chests worth. Okay, I'm full in that chest. This is the new one. Uh, apparently, I'm gonna have to divide them up based on subject. What do we have? Sky, body, normal fog, red fog, green fog. We've got mob modifiers, material, soul sand. Oh, God. Pink stained clay, stained clay. Yeah, I know there's tons more of these material ones. Controller, single dimlet. That's good. Uh, that means we could probably use terrain void. Yes. Amplified void terrain. What? Um... Shallow ocean, liquid orbs. That's interesting. I want to find a deep ocean and then make it modify it out of a specific kind of a liquid, like, I don't know, liquid eulorium. <laughs> Something like that. Effect none. Mining fatigue. Wow, okay. Then the different biomes. Flux goo, liquid water, liquid hooch. Oh, we could use liquid hooch for fuel. That'd be great. Yep, so many crazy things that we need to do now. Anyway, we've come a long ways in the series, and I really do appreciate you guys sticking around. But I think it's time that we start updating a few things. Namely, the thumbnail and the intro. Now that we've hit episode 100, I'm going to um, update both. Now, here's a little secret. I made a typo in the thumbnail for the series. And I didn't notice it. It wasn't pointed out to me until episode three. I didn't have an audience member, a viewer, pointed out to me until episode seven. And that's only happened once. Since then, I've only had it pointed out to me again a third time by a friend of mine in IRC. And he just noticed it a couple of episodes ago. So, yeah, that typo has been there the whole time. And I kind of leave it there. Just to see, but it took me three episodes to figure it out. I didn't even notice, but I haven't corrected it. Until now, it's time to update the intro. It's time to update the actual music. Let's see where we can go from 100 and up. Thanks again.